So I started working on the stilts and you can see it's, you know, it's a decent height. It's, I don't know, eight, seven blocks high. Uh, but look at this crap out here. Feral cop, dire wolf, zombie bear. There was a dog over here somewhere. There you are. See, there's a dog. I mean, we can get rid of the dog just because it makes sense to get rid of this, this guy right now. I mean, oh, he didn't even give an arrow back. How rude. How rude of you. Can we make that jump? Oh, that's fantastic. The question I have at this point, though, is uh, should we should we get rid of these things? I mean, I kind of feel like they're just going to roll over here and be a problem, right? I mean, they're going to be a problem. I don't know. I mean, gosh. Here, can we at least nail that guy into place and then that one? This is why I think I might need to expand the uh, field here so that we have a, a slightly larger platform that we're working with. That bear's just going to look over here at some point and be like, I don't remember those walls being there. That's unusual. I should go, I should go check that out because I'm a bear and that is what I do. I mean, I don't know, maybe it won't. This isn't necessarily the sort of stuff I was planning on doing for this video, but uh, due to the dangerous nature of all of this, I kind of thought, you know what, we're going to run with it because chances are I'm going to be getting interrupted left, right, and center when trying to do this. And if that's the case, then, uh, you know, it's just, I can't, I don't know, I might as well, might as well show me getting my butt kicked by all the undead creatures over here because that's just the way it's going to go, right? just the way it's going to go. Here, we need to do back row first and then front row. That's the way it's supposed to work. We really do need to get down to start. And do we have food? Shoot. <laughs> I think all the remaining food we have is on the bike. I mean, all the remaining proper food. And we'll just bounce down. Remaining food. Uh, I don't necessarily want to blow through the shepherd's pie just yet. Here, we'll eat a couple of grilled meats, and that'll tidy us over for a little while. We did bring a stack of meat, so we can make some more. We just need a cooking grill, and now that I think about it, that's kind of a problem. Didn't bring one of those. Uh, we can make one. I mean, we just need to make a forge, and we can make our own grill, but... Oh, man, this is just going to be awful. I'm pretty sure I've entered what is going to be my least enjoyable portion of this series. I can remember uh, way, way back in the day, I couldn't tell you which series it was because I've been playing this game for like 37 years. I mean, since it only just finally made it into 1.0. Yep, I hear you. I hear you. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Actually, that maybe works in my favor. Now let's do something like this. Butthead, stop that. Okay, where's the dog? I hear it. There you are. Bad dog. Okay, are we... Oh, I totally hit the... Totally hit the bike there. That's fine. How you doing? Aha! Uh, that maybe could get dangerous. Okay. Whew. I was going to say, uh, back in the day, I did a series where I rebuilt a destroyed structure in the wasteland. So it was a POI that was destroyed. And I rebuilt it. And it was it was actually a lot of fun doing that. It was pretty cool. I know. Stealth is crap right now. But eh, whatever. We'll, we'll be fine. Probably. Maybe. But it was so annoying being out in the wasteland. Like, I just don't enjoy it. I really don't. It's no fun because you're constantly interrupted by all the wandering zombies. So many of them are feral that they just know where you are, so they make your life miserable as you're just trying to do whatever. You're just trying to build. You're just trying to cook. You're just trying to... I don't know, even just stand there for a minute and not have to think about a thousand zombies. Like, it's just an awful place. So this is in part what I was thinking, you know, maybe we'll just go build up high a little bit. We don't have to go crazy with it. I mean... This, this should be sufficient, I, I hope. I mean, if you really want to be, quote-unquote, safe in the wasteland, then, oh uh, yeah, this is, not, this is not how high you go. So I want to make sure I'm absolutely clear that I'm not trying to be prescriptive 
in what we're doing here. This is not that at all. This is me being uh, reasonably lazy because it just takes so long to do this. And I just don't want to spend all, I don't know, all year long doing this, I guess. Because really, I mean, this, this just takes a minute. It's obnoxious. But it's fine overall. It's fine. I think those are full height there. Look at that. Perfect. So in case you haven't noticed, what I did here is I put the pillars at four wide, uh, or four by four rather, so two wide. Reason for that is because oftentimes the zombies can chew through a single pillar in short time. It takes them a lot longer to go through four. It's often enough time for you to go and see what's, well, going on. What is it that they're doing? How are they getting through everything? So, you know, it's just a matter of uh, taking care of things so that you're not getting blown up without being ready for it. I mean, that's really all it is. I mean, I don't know. Does that make sense to say it that way? I don't know if we can do this. Uh, this is probably not going to be high enough. I mean, not realistically, it's probably not going to be high enough. I think we're going to need more. And yet, I'm pretty sure we've blown through all the wood we have because we've been upgrading everything, which I knew that was going to be a problem, and it was one of the reasons I wanted to have more resources in hand. And yet, here we are. C'est la vie, right? C'est la vie. Here, we'll just put all that stuff in there for now, and that'll get everything out of the way so we can go chop down some more trees and all that sort of jazz. I do kind of want to get rid of the dire wolf. I mean, we can do that relatively safely, I think. How you doing, buddy? Big mama back there. Ah, eh, fine. Whatever. We're not going to get the head damage on that. It's fine. I'm not going to overthink it. Okay. I realize they're fast, but we have a, a secret advantage. It's called Pusher Bot. Crap! Pusher Bot, you failed! Uh-oh. And I also fell down. My bad. Oh, here, let's go over here. Oh, luckily, they're not going after the, the base there. That's kind of a good thing here. If we can get some headshots. Actually, if I can move you over here, that would be helpful too. I mean, I don't want to bust out the shotgun. Can if we need to. I would prefer not to, just for noise reasons. This guy's going to go through this, this metal structure before long. I mean, these things do a lot of damage. They're annoying. And they have so much health. That's one of the things that continues to surprise me with this game. After playing for, you know, 47,000 years, you get kind of used to how things are set up. You know, you kind of know how many swings it takes to kill something, how much health something has. And then the devs come along with 1.0 version of the game and decide, you know, let's go ahead and up health by a factor of three. I mean, in some instances, I think it really is by a factor of three. It's pretty nuts. It's, it is significant. It is not a small number. I don't know, it might not be quite B3, but it is significant for sure. So, you know, whatever. It's just one of those things you got to get used to it and start accounting for it now, right? For the most part, I'm, I am getting used to it. It's, it is taking me a while, though. Like some of these guys I still think should go down faster than they are, but that's just what happens. And in a way... That's where dismemberment becomes more important. Because if you can decap a zombie, uh, you can basically kill it in one hit. Versus, you know, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever it turns out to be. Like this guy, you know, there's one. That was a body shot. There's another body shot. I lost track of how many of this is now. I'm trying to give us a moment to get some stamina back, mainly. I was also hoping he might bleed out. There we go. I think that got him with the arrow, though. 
So I don't know. It just it takes time to get used to this stuff for me, that's all. And when you have all the history with the game, can you blame a guy for being like, it's weird that it takes that many swings to get through something like the dire wolves? Woof. Holy cow, dude. That was shocking. Like, straight up shocking for how much damage they take. It's just unnerving. Where are we at for wood? 1,098. That's probably not sufficient if I'm being objective about this. Oh, man. Yeah, these guys did not take as many swings as they do now. I mean, as a perfect example of that. I mean, it's fine. It's just... It kind of gets into one of the issues I have with the game. I hear a snake. Where are you? Oh, there you are. In that there's so much damage that's required to take out those enemies that it, it really almost forces you to run with the preacher gloves. And if that's the case... I don't like being forced to play a specific way so that I can feel like I can hang. And obviously, you can play with that, and we have shown that. And if you're going with a bunch of ranged weaponry, you're not going to be tuned too bad with the commando stuff, because you're getting a pretty significant damage bonus by way of uh, the commando set. And I think we could probably do better still, but I don't know. I mean, it's just uh, it's interesting stuff to me. It, it's very curious. The decisions made in this game, specifically for 1.0, I just find interesting. I mean, I generally would not advise trying to kill a zombie bear with a bow, but it can be done. It's going to take you a minute, though. But if you're maneuverable enough, it's really not that dangerous, right? That's that's kind of all it comes down to. And we got we got some friends nearby. They're gonna go down eventually. Who is that? Oh, it's Big Mama. All right, if we get rid of the bear, I'm fine with going back to melee. But bear is kind of a problem to me. Bear necessities here are getting rid of the bear. Although I do kind of wonder if we can. And you know, we can't quite reach. We're not getting headshots, so you know we're just. Arrow after arrow into the torso. Here we go. Oh, we got a, tr a uh, bowler, traveler, tourist, something. Need to move real quick here. Got to watch stamina at the moment because we are under booted. We are malnutrition at the moment. But we're fine. Yeah, got ourselves a red bag, a boss bag from the bear. Impact driver quality three. I'll take that. I'm not upset with that at all. That's pretty cool. I mean, I feel like this has been a weird episode so far. <laughs> uh, let's do two more of those guys, I guess. Yeah, we can make that just straight up. Perfect. Look at that. That's fantastic. I like that a lot. And then uh, we can start nailing some of these guys in place. So, I think... Uh, I was going to say... Oh, man, I don't want to shoot my foundation. Here, I'm just going to hit my box instead. That I can uh, probably nail some of these guys into place and uh, fast forward a little bit for you. I should have done this to start with, but uh, these blocks right here really do need to be upgraded before I forget to do that. So we'll just kind of slap those guys back into place. I totally missed that, didn't I? Yeah, I sure did. And then put these guys back in. Then we can start upgrading them and uh, worry about getting at least some of these upgraded to cobblestones. You can see we don't have a lot of cobblestones, so this isn't going to go very far. And uh, I recognize that. It is what it is, right? We need more clay, we need more rocks, we need all the things, and then uh, we'll be... we'll be alright. But 
at the very least, we have ourselves the beginnings. Uh, here, let me just do an open route entirely. Perfect. Yeah, we're out of clay. That's the issue out here. Just need to hit more uh, cobblestone bags or whatever those things are. But anyway, we have some of that stuff nailed down in place, and then that means we can start working on at least putting up a makeshift wall. Now, I don't know if I want how I want to do this just yet. Like maybe these, some of these at least should be. Uh, no, we're not going to worry about it. I'm not going to overthink it. Here, we'll do something like. Um, I knew it shouldn't have been on that pillar. It should have been the one to the right. Uh, I got to move those because that's not going to work. Here, we need some more ladders. I knew I put them in the wrong place. Absolutely knew that. Because uh, at this point, you can't really get up there with these guys in the way because we need to have some semblance of a wall up here in place. So there you go. That'll work just fine. And then what we can do is we can put a door right there and that'll work out all right. I mean, technically, we could probably just leave things exactly as is, and it would be okay, too. At least for the time being. And then, I think just to play it safe, what I'll do is I'll nail that guy into place. That one. And that one. And I hope you understand why I'm doing those first. It kind of comes back to that same thing I just did down below, where you gotta have those blocks in place. And then you're more or less okay. If you put a block down behind you, you can generally just walk backwards and click to your heart's content and fill in spaces relatively easily, and that works out pretty well. There we go. I think that's fine. We probably need some more wood. We probably need... Actually, we're fine on wood. Well, shoot, if that's the case... Uh, here, let me upgrade these right quick. So we'll just put a door in place, and that's not the one that you actually were expecting. Aha! I have subverted your expectations by putting... A door in the other corner along with a ladder so we have an easy out on both sides so okay not too shabby let us slap down a storage chest because um we could probably use a few of these guys here we'll just do four of them for now because i do want to kind of put some stuff away ideally what we'll be able to do oh gosh um i think what i need to do is give us a little more height here so that we can uh, just build the storage chest on these guys. I like having my storage chest at least one block high. I would prefer two. Um, uh, do I bother to do this? Yes, I bother to do this. I don't... I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. This place, if it really gets hit, it's going down anyway. At least for right now. I mean, if we're able to come back with enough cobblestones and maybe a nail gun, it'll be fine. But for right now, we'll call that good enough. Look at that. Perfect. Um, I guess I probably need to drop off some like excess ammo and things. And then, um, here, let me, let me move all this stuff around right quick. Okay, I think that's good enough for now. We basically have weapons, armor, miscellaneous, food, water, medicine, etc. That's probably going to have to be good enough for the moment because, uh, I don't know, I just... It just it starts to get to be too much. Ah, oh, goodness. Here, let's take down one more. Ooh, excellent. That was super fortunate. Kind of talking about getting uh, dismemberments. There you go. That was a dismemberment with the bow. The bill. Bow came through on that one. Not ice. I mean, hey, I'm not going to complain if we get a free headshot. Well, I mean, I guess it wasn't free, but it was free. You know what I mean, right? I'm not going to complain about those at all. Do we have any... Well, we do technically have enough cloth in here. Let's go ahead and make a bandage out of that. That way we can use our aloe cream there and make a first aid bandage. And uh, maybe what we should do is have... We'll take two of those guys with us. I ended up more or less pulling everything off the bike, which I didn't really want to do that exactly. But here, we'll go ahead and gas this guy up and then we can put the rest of that gasoline in there. And more bones, because I forgot those had taken up an inventory slot that I didn't want them in. And thus they went back to it, because that was their last known location. 
So, I think that's not... Too bad. I can work with that. I mean, we're going to find some more clay. We're going to find some more stones. We'll upgrade all of the foundation and, at the very least, all of the pillar portion to get up to cobblestone. That's going to be uh, absolutely critical, I think. And then, at some point, we'll get everything else up to cobblestone, but... It's not a big rush. I mean, obviously concrete would be even better, but I don't know if I'm ready to deal with the horde out here just yet. That'll be the day 35 horde we got to think about. I mean, that's going to require a whole other base. I guess we just don't use this place for the horde. We find somewhere else to go. I mean, we've had pretty good luck thus far just kind of taking a random POI and turning it into something that is approximately defensible. Yes, yeah, so maybe we'll continue to do that. I don't know. Whatever. Figure it out on the next one, and we'll figure out where we're going, too. I don't know that I want to do a quest. I think maybe what I want to do is just go wander around the town and see what sort of good POIs we can go to. Or maybe we'll do a Tier 5 infestation. I don't know. Whatever. Figure it out on that one. Catch that and tell them thanks for watching. Hey, free stuff. See you later.